Hello to all of our television viewers, our friends, and all of our partners. We are here, Janet, my beautiful wife, and myself. We've been married about 40 years, just a, a tick shy of 40 years right now. We wanted to wish you a very, very blessed Christmas. Janet, what do you think? Yes, it's the most wonderful time of the year. And just thinking about the season that we live in, the, the era that we live in now, and uh, just reading over the Christmas story and and the angels said to the shepherds, I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all people. And I love that because good news is very welcome these days. Yes, it is. And I just think about, oh, because of Christmas, because of Jesus, we have his presence. We have his love with us always. It'll never be gone, and it's so wonderful. I have to remind myself how much He loves me because I can get going in my own strength and, and trying to figure things out, and just to remember His love. He loves me so much, and just to have that connection with heaven when there's so much going on, you know, horizontally, remember that vertical connection. And I, I just think of this verse in Romans, and I want to read it to you. It's out of the New Living Translation because it's so encouraging for the times we live in. And it's all because of Christmas, the love that God had has for us. And it'll never, ever end. And that, when we say Merry Christmas, <laughs> we can think of that awesome, wonderful love. And I want to read it, Romans 8 verse 38 and 39, very familiar to many of you probably, but it's so good to hear it again and again. He said, Paul said, I'm convinced that nothing can ever separate us from God's love, nothing, neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor demons, neither our fears for today, nor our worries about tomorrow, not even the powers of hell, can separate us from God's love. No power in the sky above or in the earth below. Indeed, nothing in all creation will ever be able to separate us from the love of God that is revealed in Christ Jesus our Lord. Isn't it wonderful? There is nothing that will ever separate us from His love. And, and He also tells us that that love pushes away all fear. We don't have to be afraid. We say we stay connected to him and thank God for Christmas that we can. So Merry Christmas. Amen to that. It is about Jesus. God sent a savior to the world and Jesus is it for all people, all races, all ethnicities, every language group. Jesus is the savior of the world that was born on that Christmas morning. And that's why with, with these broadcasts, we are endeavoring to bring a living Jesus to a dying world. And that's actually been the motto of our church since we began it in 1983, bringing a living Jesus to a dying world. You know, the scripture says that God is not willing that any perish, but that all be saved and come to the knowledge of the truth. And so through these broadcasts in multiple languages and in, you know, countries around the world, we're bringing a simple message of Jesus. We want to see people saved, and then we want to teach them in the Word, bring them to the knowledge of the truth. That is what God wants, and He sent Jesus so that we might have a relationship with Him. And at Christmas, we celebrate the birth of the Savior. He was born, he lived a sinless life. He showed people what God was like. He worked miracles. He, he spoke of God, not as being distant and uninterested, but being present, a caring, loving, heavenly Father. And then Jesus was taken by wicked hands and he was crucified. And there upon that cross, he gave up his life for you, for me, and for the people of the world. And we need to tell them the good news. So from Janet, from myself, from our whole team here, yes. 
uh, from the church, from the whole television team, we just want to wish you the most blessed Christmas that you have ever had in Jesus' name.